Hi guys, it's Stephanie here. Um, welcome to my video. I wanted to take a few minutes to speak about facilitating in a group setting. Um, so basically I'm going to go over the type of group that I've um, had experience working with. At United Way 2 and one I am a supervisor and we do a weekly and monthly small group where as a supervisor I would facilitate this meeting. Um, the type of group this would fall under would be a supervision type of group. So we would work with the specialists to go over some new policies, procedures, um, and then talk about different uh, discussions and details of the work and lifestyle of our agency. Um, so the name of our group really would just be our monthly meeting. Um, the agency contact at 211 is that we work with crisis um, response calls. We handle the National Suicide Prevention Line. We also make referrals for services in the community such as financial assistance. Um, some agencies that that would include would be maybe Catholic Charities, the Salvation Army. Um, basically, 2-in-1 is an all-call center for any resources that people may need when they're in need of like a crisis. Um, the purpose of our monthly group is to go over different procedures, call handling types, talk about policies, and then we also like to make it fun and keep connected, especially with COVID going on right now. Um, it's been really important to try and keep the uh, dynamic of our work center, keep in contact with everybody, and just try to make sure that everyone's communicating efficiently. Um, so the content of the group, again, would include a lot of information on the monthly updates. I'm going to go ahead and read some information from our last meeting, which would give you an idea. Um, so in this meeting, we went over a lot of information on staying up to date with schedule adherence. So as a facilitator, I went around in the group and just explained different examples on how we monitor the calls, um, how the specialists have to remain on time, logging into all of our databases on time, and what that looks like working remotely. Um, there were some unique features to this, this conversation because working remotely you have unique issues as well. So I think it was really important to let everybody know where they stood with, you know, internet connection issues, um, issues with working the platforms if they go down, such as using our text features online, our chat features online, um, what to do when they aren't working. So it is a lot of informative in, like, um, in, informative meeting, I would say. Um, the themes discussed by group members typically are questions regarding the content um, and then we also like to open the floor up to anybody who wants to um, bring something to a supervisor's attention. This could be a complaint following working with a certain platform. It could be questions regarding information that they're receiving via email or from other supervisors. Um, so I would really say the theme again is a Q&A. Um, it's very open and work-related. The structure of the group would be that I, as the facilitator, would mostly be the one um, speaking throughout the group um, after each section of our information and, and timeline. I would open it up to questions from the group members. Um, there's not any set rules or flow of the conversation. It is very open. The leadership style, of course, would be mostly from myself as the facilitator. Um, 
some personal impressions of this style of leadership is I'm very open, very flexible. I'd like to hear back from my group. I take the time to make sure that I'm asking them if they would like to share after each section is over. Um, I really like at the end to facilitate a sort of activity or exercise that helps us get to know and continue to know our group members. Basically, as a social worker at 2-on-1, these type of groups aren't really therapy. These are more supervisory groups. I do not have any experience as of yet in working or facilitating in a group therapy session. The most I've gotten to learn so far is through our weekly um, mutual aid groups, which has been very helpful in learning how to reflect what the speaker is sharing as well as how to facilitate different exercises, establish introductions and rules. So going forward in my own role as a tone one supervisor, I really would like to include more validation for anyone that feels comfortable enough to share. Um, I really want to make sure that I establish some type of rules, even if that means just saying that what we're talking about is confidential, as well as um, asking if there's anyone else that would like to establish any rules. So I think going forward, um, using the content I'm learning in this class, as well as the style of leadership that I already have established as a supervisor, I think it's a good mix. Um, so I think that would be it. I am open to any suggestions, and I'm really looking forward to watching the videos from my other classmates to learn more about their experiences facilitating groups. Thanks. Bye.